robotics competition and basically we've been doing this for about seven years now um, it's such an important thing I think it, it really attracts students to the stem field um, completely so we had um, since the beginning of the school year they've been programming building and um, and testing and retesting their robots for the specific competition today the high school um, they used the VEX robots. It's actually the first year that we use this robot. It's one step up from the Lego that we've been using for the past six years. Um, and we always like to give it a real world scenario. So today we had the robots, uh, basically we're thinking of a third world country that doesn't have clean water. So they would have to get contaminated water and filter it to make it clean water. Um, so that was the objective. Obviously we did not use real water. Um, we used uh, beads as different sized beads and marbles. The kids also had to create a filtration device. So once they put in the contaminated water into the filtration device, only the clean water was coming out. So a specific type of bead is what we needed to come out. In the United States especially, our, our, the number of students that we have studying specialty engineering are very, very low. So if we can attract them young to such a needed career, because engineers really kind of make our world go around, they do everything to make our life better. Um, if we attract them young and attract them to a difficult profession, because it is difficult, um, they tend to stay in it longer, they tend to study it, and uh, so that's the whole point of, of doing things like this for, it, for these students. <laughs> 